Hello there, everyone. Xantalk here with Slick Star Gaming, and welcome back to some more Spider Man Miles Morales. So, we saved last time after we finished this mission, but it's brought us back to here, I guess, because it's like at the end of the game. So, you know, whatever. But, let's go ahead and take a look at things here. We're gonna get a new suit put on. We don't have very many options because I spent all of our tokens. Uh, we've got either the advanced tech suit, which, you know, it looks fine. It's okay. But I kind of want to do the new, or his homemade suit. I, I really like the looks of it. I kind of feel it'd be funny to, in the game, wearing Miles' homemade suit. So let's do that. Uh, increase the damage of throwing objects. Nah, we're good on that front. Wait, why is it still showing? Oh, it's because I had the curse for it. Okay. We've also got a skill point we can spend. So, let's do that. We only have... Wait. Oh, I can't spend my skill points because we're in the end game. That's a choice. Huh. Oh, wait, hang on. Yes, I can. I just can't buy these ones for some. Oh, because I never bought that one. I'm a dumb. There we go. So, let's get to it. Finn is about to try and blow up Roxxon, which is going to destroy all of Harlem. We've got a major snowstorm happening. And uh, our friends and family are trying to evacuate Harlem so everybody can be safe. And while they're doing all that, it becomes our job to somehow stop Finn and, well, save the day. So this is the final story mission in the game. We are ending things today. I thought we were going to end things last time, but the Science Center took a lot more time than I thought it would. Uh, and if you're thinking, well, why did you just not look at every science experiment? Then it would have taken a lot less time. I mean, you're right. I've never seen a storm this bad. But it still would have taken enough time, so. Plus, I thought it was fun. Alright, let's get on this building. Wait, how's our venom? Do we have any venom? I really want to have venom. Oh boy, we do not have any venom. That sucks. Genki, can you hear me? Genki. I love how the suit actually changed in the cutscenes. Oh hi. I'm just gonna, you know. Are you guys? Fuck. Oh. Rocks out on the underground are both going down. Ah, uh, all right, let's see, where's some more people? Cause we gotta stop all of them. Uh, I don't know if that worked. It did, fuck yeah. Surrender! Good, he's against stuff. Fuck your rockets. Yeah! Against a tree. Uh, I want to get out of there. Get against the fence. Where are more? Okay, I see a few on the map. We're leaving the mission area. Oh, here they are. Camila? Oh, just at a time. Oh, what? Come on. There we go. Instant takedown. Gonna finish her on this rocks on asshole. And now we do. Oh, shit. I forgot about the shield. Well, if I didn't come here, then we could have disaster. Oh, there's shield protection from that one, too. Okay. Well, you know what doesn't protect me from? This one. Or I guess it does, and I'm stupid. Oh, 
I will not stay down. You can give me all the ordinance that you want to. Oh, hi. That's all you had your shield back, I see. Why are you fast? Good, he's on the ground. Oh, we got a fucking sniping asshole! <gasps> Listen, guys, I'm trying to stop rocks on here. Fucking underground asshole. Wait, hey! Oh, come on! Okay, at least I got checkpointed to this point. Fuck. You. Okay, that person's down. Okay, good. We have rooftop fights between underground and rock sun. Finishing the fight. Doing both. Get out. Ow, fuck. Get out of here, asshole. Someone just say something about taking them out to dinner? What? Uh, okay, I see one more person over here. Uh, well, now they're up here. Hi! Goodbye! Only because you are an ass. Let's get swinging. fell over. I don't know why. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, that's a real shame. That guy's gone. Fuck your rocket launcher! Oh, there's so many in the streets. Oh, hi, Hammer Boy! Oh god, there's multiple Hammer Boys. Oh, of course it'll be the heart of the fighting. We're in Harlem, which is where Roxxon wants to build their shit. You know one of the truth? I completely forgot to OW! Fucking dick! I completely forgot about the burst attack. Uh, I believe we like to call that help. Shit, I was hoping I could hit him with the weapon. Okay! Okay! Alright! That was uncalled for. Not 
Do they know I'm here yet? Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I see what I need to do. Ow. 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 Fuck your tank. And fuck your scythe. Jesus fucking Christ. Streets are still a mess. We need to stop them. Okay, well that one's easy. Where's that tank? Okay, I just want to take that tank out. Okay. He didn't get webbed. Oh my god. What the f How do you survive? <gasps> Fuck you! Let's do it again! Holy hell, these guys are kicking my ass. Oh, it's another fucking tank. Come here, tank head. I want you. All right, Scythe. Finally. Lord. Yankee. Yankee, where are you? Can you guys make a break for it? Who's that? Someone there. Yeah, it's just me. I'm in my old suit. Guys. Listen, hey. We need to get out of here. But I can only carry some of you. <laughs> get people clear I'll be back I know okay people check every door we don't leave anyone behind no you don't know what you're doing they deserve what's coming to them Roxon? Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. The reactor. Krieger changed the specs. You're not just going to destroy Roxon Plaza. You're going to vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not going to let you lie to me again! Can't let you do this. I can't let you stop me. Ah! 
Oh boy. Okay, well that doesn't do shit. Holy balls. Uh, spider. But you are. Why won't you listen to me? Krieger couldn't change the reactor. He's not that smart. He's smart enough. Let me stop this. I mean, he can change it. The point is, he didn't change it good. I didn't want this. Yeah, I didn't want that either. You, you weren't supposed to kill me. Don't you see what the reactor's doing? Destroying the plaza. Tearing down Krieger's monument. You wish. No can do. It'll take Harlem with it. Who fed you that? Krieger? I ran the number. Why won't you listen to me? Krieger couldn't change the reactor. He's not that smart. He's smart enough. Let me stop this. Can't do that. The fin I knew cared more about protecting people than punishing them. I don't want to fight. We'll talk. After I disable the reactor. Going critical, soon we won't be able to stop it. No, I am not running away again. God damn it, we were so close. You are the one person I needed on my side. I am on your side. Oh, God, she can attack me through that. Fucking Christ. Oh, that's a big ass cannon. The more weapons you build, oh. the more I'll destroy. Oh, I can keep this up all day, my armor. I'm glad you can, because I can too. Technically. Did you feel that? We have to stop the reactor. Fuck your cannon though. Wait a minute. Can hollow drones work here? Really? Oh, she has lines for it. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna break out all of them. Get beat by holograms, Finn. Whoa. What the fuck happened there? Fuck you, Krieger. Do we have a finisher? Venom finishers, remote mines, doing work.
We give you a lot of chances to stop. Well, that one didn't go very well. Aren't you tired yet? Not particularly. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the death wheels. Sometimes the camera angles. It's like, what the fuck? We did, I think. We're kind of... I don't know where we were fighting there. Fuck that hurt. Oh no. Oops. Well, I didn't seem to do anything. Fucking. But I really like some more remote mines right about now. Going a little bit further on the plaza now, isn't it? This shouldn't be happening. I can stop it. Gotta make it.
them far away. I can't hold this in much longer. Why are they coming closer to the explosion? They're supposed to be getting away. Everyone? Okay. We're safe. All of us. Get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? <sighs> He's our Spider-Man. Come on, those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, I will yeah, we know who you are. Own you. Do you hear me? I hate this face so much. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, flipped on him and Roxanne. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. You're looking good, Haley. This is where we come from. Yeah, we did it. Sitting on my back, I'm committed. This is where we come from. Yeah, we made it. Now the whole team celebrating. We like uh oh 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 Oh, look who finally showed up. can't get over that suit so cool gotta be me yeah you do Pete does this job ever get easier some of it yeah 
Some things never get easier, though. Roxanne did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Ben, all of Harlem. And I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man oath. Go time? Go time. Well, that's that. That is the uh, conclusion to the main story of uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. It's not anywhere near as long as the game they were doing in the early PS4, but it wasn't really supposed to be. This was more just like a, a side story, really. Let me just focus on the Miles. Let's just see how he plays. Part of me kind of thinks it started out as a tech demo for the PS5, since then they also remastered the PS4 version of this game on the PS5 as well, just to see what they could do expanding off of what they had already done before with the PS4 version, what maybe some of the new tech could allow them to have access to. And we know that we're going to have, um, there's going to be another one. Spider-Man 2 is already confirmed. I think it was confirmed the same time they announced uh, this game. What will be in it though, we have some, some information, some trailers. I have some thoughts of what I'd like to see. Obviously I want to be able to play as both Peter and Miles in the game. That would be amazing. Let Miles have his uh, his Venom abilities, maybe some less gadgets and maybe some different gadgets that are part better from Peter. Peter can have like more of a wider variety of gadgets. I'm also, we, we've seen in one of the trailers Venom. So symbiotes are coming. So I'm kind of guessing that they're gonna do the whole Black Two storyline with Peter and maybe he'll get some, uh, some little symbiote power ups as well with his stuff. I'm also kind of curious about, it's like, since we're already good doing two Spider-Men, could we get a third? Maybe we can have Gwen pop in it somehow, some way? I would be down for that. Give me the three Spider-Man video game. Fuck yes, please. They can all have their own unique tools and abilities, so why not? But as for this game itself, uh, while it was definitely shorter, uh, it was still really good. They, I don't feel like there was a quality loss between this and the uh, original PS4 game. We had different villains, we had some returning villains in Rhino and the Kingpin, technically. Uh, Kingpin being the, really the tutorial boss of the first game. And now he was more of a, a cameo where we got to fight his goons and find out he was behind some things. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back in the next game, uh, whether he breaks out of prison or not, or he's just again sending his goons, who knows. But I'm expecting more to Kingpin. I kind of wonder, ooh, I don't, because they like doing all the different games. So we had like five different games to deal with in the first game between um, Rap Escapees, Regular Thugs, uh, Silver Sables people, the the Demons, there's another group, I can't remember what it was. But I'm wondering, if they're doing symbiotes for the next game, are we just going to be fighting like symbiotes out in the street? Or maybe people that have been infected with the symbiotes, we're just going to be fighting a bunch of that? That'd be kind of interesting. Beyond that, I don't really know. Um, there is a, uh, a credit scene for this game that I'm trying to avoid talking about because then I have more things I can say regarding it and what I think we might see in the next game. I'm kind of hoping the credits will give us that pretty soon. But um, Tinkerer, I only knew them from the Spider-Verse movie, so this was a different, very different take on the character. And a good one as far as I'm concerned. I The relationship between Miles and Luna was really... Fun to watch and play through, and here we go. So that is some Venom symbiote attached to some person in a, a tank of some sort. Residents of Harlem are still feeling the effects of the recent citywide uprising of the group known as the Underground. While the Roxxon Corporation deals with a rash of lawsuits, Newly elected city councilwoman Rio Morales addressed the media yesterday to make a plea for additional public funds to assist with the... Vitals are good. Circulatory system healthy. Um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. 
Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease want his could. Cross. Curse. But we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said, get him out now. And there's that. In the first game, we Peter was under the impression that Harry, his best friend, Harry Osborne, went overseas for a reason that I can't remember. I think he was just supposed to be studying abroad. But then we found out when we were infiltrating uh, Osborne's apartment, that wasn't the case. He had some kind of disease and he was trying to be healed some way, some kind of life-threatening disease. And here we see him with Venom attached to him in the healing tank, Dr. Kurt Connors walking over him and his father Norman is just like nah let my boy out he's good enough it's like so I guess as far as Venom is concerned he's gonna be attached to Harry which I don't know what that's happened in the comics before I have no idea uh the main Venom has always been the one attached to Flash Thompson but it's changed hands over the years so it seems we're getting an Osborne Venom which is interesting and I wouldn't be surprised if since we're getting Norman back we could see Green Goblin uh, and since Kurt Connor's there, maybe he'll transform to the, into the lizard and we'll fight him. Because these games have a wide variety of villains in the roster. Even sometimes uh, smaller named characters like fucking Screwball in the first game. Who will be in... Who, who knows who will be in the next game? Uh, I think there's a good chance of uh, Goblin, Venom, Osborne. We could even do something like... I don't know what else they would do there. I think Lizard just makes a lot of sense. Uh, we get some other new people that I'm just not aware of. Uh, we haven't fought Sandman yet. We haven't seen Mysterio. Craven. Craven could make a lot of sense. Hey, there's multiple Spider-Man. Craven's gonna want that. I can easily see that happening. People, I don't think he'd be part of the main story, but there could definitely be some like some side content that focuses on Craven, kind of like we had side content focused around Screwball or Taskmaster or Kingpin in this game, uh, Hammerhead, Tombstone, whoever. There's a lot of Spider-Man villains that they can choose from to uh, add to the next game. Hydro Man or whatever the fuck. Scorpion! Oh. Wait, no. Wasn't Scorpion in the first game? He was. Scorpion was in the first game. And so was Vulture. And then we saw Hologram Vulture of sorts in this one. Uh, but there is still some content left in this game. Uh, I said it was the end of the main story, but there are some things left to do. Uh, we've got the underground bases, we have the rocks on bases, and we've got the, the sound recordings that our Uncle Prowler gave us to go through. I considered doing them before we finished the main story, but I figured, eh, screw it, we're kind of here at the end, let's just push forward to the main story. And there's some content that you can only do after you beat the main story. Anyway, there's going to be a new type of collectible we can get, and there's a new side quest that is exclusive to uh, the post game. So I figured, yeah, screw it, we can do all that afterwards. Plus, I kind of felt like, knowing what I knew about how Prowler was going to turn himself in to uh, help take down Krieger, I thought it'd be kind of fun. I keep hearing irrational raves from hormonally unbalanced youth, Jared's age. Wait, Hi, oh. JJ. Good heavens, man, get a real job. You get a real job. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app. They claim this young Spider-Man can do anything. Yeah, I mean, he did a lot. <laughs> well, I just use said app to place an order of saganaki from my favorite Greek restaurant in Astoria, specifying I wanted it delivered fresh and in the traditional Greek manner. Set a blaze in front of me. We shall see if our boastful boy, Spider-Man, can fulfill this. Dude. Hey, Mr. Jameson. What? Gotta go. Jared, call 911. Spider-Man broken in and is killing us with fire. Oh, God, this isn't delicious. Go to commercial, Jared. I got some feasting to do. Oh, no, you should have ordered your own. This is mine. Mine, Jared. Out. I don't remember that at all. That is amazing. Uh, okay. Threw me off there for a second. But, um, what else I was trying to say? Because when we got those sound recordings, we were immediately followed up the very next mission of the betrayal from our, from Prowler. And it just didn't feel right to go through them right then. But I knew, like, I felt like doing them after the fact. Uh, after Prowler has given himself up to police and Charon Krieger, 
I don't know, it just felt, it feels kind of right to be doing those as like a, not, 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 I don't know how to put it, but doing them after effect, I don't know, it just, it feels good to do it that way better than when Miles is all pissed off at his uncle. Just made sense to me, I guess. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining it very well, but that's what was going through my head at the time. And I could have done the bases, but I kind of wanted to be at the max level, because they're kind of a pain in the ass. And I wanted all of my HP and attack power, thank you very much. Sue me. But we'll take care of it all. We, we will get them. I'm not worried about, like, getting the maximum rewards from things like the spider training or all the bonus objectives from the various crimes. I just want to get the content, like, do all the fights, unlock what we can, and pretty much call it good at that point. Credits still rolling. <laughs> Uh, more things to talk about. Um, Spider-Man's great. Fuck it. Amazing. Ultimate. Superior. Spectacular. All the words you want to use. Give me more Spider-Man characters in future games. Please. I don't know what they can really... I mean, we know easily how they can set uh, Miles and Peter apart. I've mentioned this part earlier. And I also mentioned bringing in Gwen Stacy's uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Gwen. Or Ghost Spider. Whatever the hell she's going by these days. What they, how they would set her apart, I honestly don't know. I don't know too much about what she actually has to set her apart, comics-wise. But if they go the Venom, the symbiote route with Pete, then they could kind of just have Gwen be the more standard, normal Spider-Man character. And now Pete's got his own symbiote stuff. And Miles has a... Um, Venom, obviously. Not Venom the Symbiote, but Venom the Power, which is honestly kind of confusing. They could also just have uh, Pete focus more on uh, tech tech. While maybe Gwen could go for more like acrobatics, except for more weapon related, like the web bombs. Uh, which were from... You know what I mean, web bombs. Uh, or just like... Uh, like give Pete sort of like the actual science more tech, that like the trip mines, the, uh, the hollow drones or something. Whereas Gwen just has like more things related to using her webbing in different ways. That's what I'm trying to say. That's without knowing more specifically about what sets her apart from the other characters. That's kind of where I'm at in terms of what she can do. But hey, wait, one QA analyst? What? That 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 doesn't make sense to me. That's gotta be some other specialized section or something. Because there's no way there's only one QA tester for this entire game. I call bullshit. I call major bullshit. <sighs> but yeah, uh, that's the main story for Miles done. We opened up with all the, uh, with getting our training, getting a suit gifted to us from Peter, and we immediately ditch it and make our own suit, and then I never, and I only wore it once, because there's so many other cool suits in the game. Uh, there's so, unfortunately, like, there's gonna be a lot that we just don't get to wear, because there's not gonna be enough episodes left to go through them all. So I'm kind of just gonna have to, like, pick and choose what we can really do. Which is still going to be hard because I spent a lot of my tokens. Uh, we do still have one freebie suit, the uh, the tech suit that we can use in the next episode. But doing this one, the main story here did not give us no tokens. So I'm hoping, so probably after this we'll probably do, I think the sound samples next. Because that'll give us more tokens of both types, I'm pretty sure. And then we can just like pick whatever suit catches our eyes like being whatever's cool it's like the in suit i want to use uh the spider-verse suit is really cool though the spider-verse suit comes with a suit ma that it's supposed to make it you look like you're swinging around in like that animated style but i, I tried it with my other, with my first file and i gotta say guys it kind of fucked with my eyes a little bit it did not look very good uh, the an the little mod for the spider-verse animation stuff the suit itself is great but adding in the mod, just it looks stuttery, and I, nah, we won't be using that. I, mm -mm. not for me. I do miss some of the really cool suitabilities, though, from the first game. Although now that I think about it, uh, one of my favorite ones was the one from the uh, from the the Rocker Spider-Man, where he just like did this huge AOE attack. Which is really what our uh, our what our one of our Venom attacks was. One where I jump in the ground first and I slam down. That's really that ability. Now that I think about it, 
and I can pretty much do that whenever I want now instead of having a specific suit, which, you know, that's kind of worth. I also do like that abilities don't have to be tied to suits now. I don't know what they were, actually, in the first game. Maybe I'm misremembering that. But I know I said that they were. And I was seeing that I had to wear that suit in order to use that ability, but now I'm not entirely sure that's true. It's been a few years since I played the PS4 game, and even though I technically have it for PS5 because I bought this game, and which came with that upgrade, which I think that's how that worked. I'm not sure. I have an upgraded version of the PS5 Spider-Man for free. But I never, I didn't really play it because I was just like, why? I already played the original one. That didn't seem to be a point to me. I don't think there's anything extra they added in unless there's something I'm missing. I don't know. Maybe there's like a new suit or something, but I'm not going to play the game all over again. It's for one new suit. Come on. But holy shit, these credits are still rolling. My god, this is normally where, like, if we were actually gasping on the game, I'll talk about what the next game is going to be on the channel. But, uh, we, I can't yet. Because these are still going. Oh, lordy. I'll take a drink. I forgot to refill my water before we started recording today. And that's on me. Roman Hairy Neck. Alright. Sure. Oh, we could also get Hobgoblin? I'm trying to think of other Spider-Man villains that I know of. He's got a lot. He has one of the bigger rogue galleries in terms of these superheroes. I just don't know them all. Mysterio is probably who I most want to see. Um, I just like Mysterio a lot. Uh, we could also do Carnage, I guess. But I don't really, I don't want to see Carnage yet. I feel like give us a full game of just Venom as our symbiote representative. Maybe have some, like, rando Venom enemies, or symbiote enemies. But don't give us Carnage until the, a whole nother game, please. Or, if you're gonna do it, do, like, the whole DLC thing like they did with, uh... I think it was Hammerhead, or was it Tombstone? It was either Hammerhead or I keep getting them mixed up. Hammerhead or Tombstone, whoever was at the focus of the three DLC missions in the first game, or campaigns, rather. They could do something like that for Carnage. But definitely don't make him be main story in the next game, please. Also, this game does not have DLC campaign. I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure about that. Are these the longest game credits we've dealt with here on the channel? At least for games I've played, because they very well might be. You would think the Spider-Man, the other Spider-Man game also had these long credits. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying credits are a bad thing, because absolutely people should deserve credit for the work they did on this amazing game. But I've run out of things to talk about. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't want to talk about what we're going to be doing next on the channel because, you know, we still got more of this game to do. I don't want to talk about what we're going to be doing next in this game because I'd like to just let that be revealed once we get to it. I do know what I want to do with last in this game. That much I figured out. But, good lord. Finn. Let's talk about Finn for a second. I feel bad for Finn a lot in this game. She she was on top of the world with her best friend Miles. They were doing amazing science stuff. They had their they had an exhibit at uh, Oscorp Science Center. It was awesome. And then, first of all, she doesn't get into the same school as Miles, which seems kind of weird to me. But I guess when you do that drama, they need to be separated for something. Uh, her brother, I think, was her, Rick was her brother. I think. It, like her, her older brother or an uncle or some other new friend. I think it was his brother. I don't remember for sure. Um, but I think he was. Uh, you know, he had his dream job creating free energy. Clean energy, rather. But then, you know, Roxxon's gonna Roxxon. Krieger's gonna Krieger. And he just got screwed. It was making him sick. It was making a lot of people sick. Krieger didn't give a 
fuck? And it's like, I don't care. We can make a quick buck off the controversy and then just make money until the controversy. So, ha ha. Fuck Krieger. Krieger's face also just looks so weird. It doesn't look right. Like, all the other characters, their faces look fine. Except for New Peter. I still am not over New Peter's face. I really hope they make some adjustments for the next game because, ugh, he just looks so young. Like, the Peter in the first game, like, he looked like an experienced Spider-Man. Like, he'd been doing this. Peter in this game, man, he looks like he's only a couple years older than Miles, which maybe he's supposed to be, but he does not look like he has experience in this game at all. But Krieger's face kind of looks like he's Play-Doh. Don't like it. But Finn loses her brother because Roxanne's all kinds of crazy. And then she decides to go work with the underground to take them down. She has a plan that's going to destroy their building. And it would have worked, probably, if, admittedly, Miles didn't fuck up some of the new form. And if Krieger then didn't mess with his own specs. That said, Finn shouldn't have done that shit. And then at the very end, she realizes, oh god. Oh, he was right. This isn't what was supposed to happen. This is way bigger. Fuck me. Oh god, Miles is going to explode. Here, let me launch myself into the fucking stratosphere. And then he blows up and we just don't see Finn anymore. We're left to assume Finn died. That would make sense to me. She, The lightning... Miles is able to discharge it because he's got the bioelectricity in him. But then Finn's body kind of just, I guess, got reduced to dust? I guess? From all the discharge? That, that's what they imply, but you know the rules in any media. If you don't see the body, then they may, then they're not dead. A funeral doesn't mean a character is dead. Sometimes seeing a body doesn't even mean they're dead. So I'm not entirely convinced that Finn is dead. She could come back. It's very possible. I'm not really expecting it. Especially not in the next game. Unless we have like... Mm, the only thing I might expect to see in the next game is just like uh, a side quest string or something. That's like... Hints at her survival. But that we wouldn't see her until like maybe another post credit stinger. Or Miles Morales 2. Or something of that sort. I don't know point is she could be alive and we just don't know i'm not sure if the devs ever commented on it uh, i haven't really looked into interviews or anything like that because why but it's, it's very possible oh my god the credits are still going holy fuck some games we've done uh, the credits have finished rolling before i'm done talking about a game and then I feel stressed out because it's like, oh god, I gotta wrap up what I'm saying. Ha <laughs> ha. This game was more like, no, we're gonna keep going. And you're not allowed to stop talking. It's like, oh. Okay. Thanks. Thank you so very much. Matthew Galliano, the video production specialist of whatever section of the credits this is. Because, dear lord. I hope Miles gets a place in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. We have met uh, his uncle. His uncle was in the first movie, Homecoming, played by, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, I can't think of his name, but I know his face. Uh, Donald Glover. Donald Glover plays Aaron Davis in Spider-Man Homecoming. We don't see him as Prowler. He's just like a random dude that Spider-Man ends up talking to, and he mentions that he has a nephew. But um, that's really all that happens there. And a lot of people are hoping that we'll get to see him suit up as Prowler. And that we'll see Miles. We're like, I'm down for that. Uh, I mean, Peter has had his trilogy of movies in the MCU. At this point, maybe we could bring in Miles. But I still feel like, I don't think Tom Holland's Peter is experienced enough to really be a mentor for somebody else just yet. I don't think he's there. Maybe there's a, maybe there'll be a, like a time skip between Spider-Man Three and Spider-Man Four. I don't know, but I just don't feel like he's there yet. Who knows? And also, you know, we had the whole blip 
the Thanos snap. So who knows if uh, Prowler or Miles were snapped away for a while. Maybe Miles was a little kid before the snap and now he's older. I don't know. It's hard to really say anything. Now we're in the Marvel Games area of the credits. Whew. Where's the Spider-Verse 2 movie? Man, I'm looking forward to that. The first one was really good. Uh, Miles became a much more mainstream name for people, which is good. He should be great character. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Ham, Penny Parker, obviously Gwen. I really hope the sequel is good too, and they bring in some more. I don't. I'm not sure if they'll bring in. If they'll have all the other Spider-Man return, but we know Gwen's going to be back. Uh, I would hope for Peter B. Parker to be back. I'd love to see Spider-Man Noir again. Penny Parker, I was kind of, kind of neutral to. Same with Spider-Ham. So I'm, eh, they don't come back. I'm not going to be too upset. But from what I've heard, the Super Sentai version of Spider-Man, the Japanese Spider-Man, is supposed to be in it. And I'm thinking 2099 Spider-Man will be in as well. So that'll be pretty cool. Whether or not they have any other surprises for us, no idea. It'd be cool if they brought in um, one of the live-action versions of the character, but I'm really not expecting that. Oh, hey, look, here's the music. That means we're almost done. That's that's a sign of the credits being almost finished. So the music is always towards the end. Oh. Thank Christ. I feel like half this video has been has been credits. And for that I kind of apologize. It's kind of out of my control it wasn't like I wanted to just cut it all out. But I feel like that'd be a disservice to the game and the people who've made it if I cut it. Jaden Smith made music for this game? Huh. Assuming that's Jaden Smith, the son of Will Smith, that I'm assuming it is. I, I mean, I'm not a music person. But wow, okay. Oh, music wasn't the last thing. Hmm. Okay. I thought that was going to say Will Smith for a second there, but no, it just says Will Booth. All right. I'm also really curious where they're going to go next with Spider-Man in terms of the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, because uh, if you haven't seen the last one, oh boy! Oh boy, first of all, if you haven't seen Spider-Man No Way Home, you should. You absolutely should. Especially if you liked any of the previous Spider-Man movies, be they Tom Holland's, Andrew Garfield's, or um, Tony, or Tony, uh, Toby McGuire's. Please watch No Way Home, please. What they'll do for the next one, man, who knows? A lot. Why, why do they have to say, like, person named artist? Why don't they just have, like, artist as a headline and then list all the names? That seems weird to me. Also, why can't we do, like, double columns and just show twice as many names at a time? I feel like that'd make things be a lot easier. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Well, that's really not a maybe. Now, is it? <sighs> but, yeah. Really did not think credits would last this fucking long. But kudos to you if you've stuck all the way through them. Whether it's for reading the credits themselves or if it's for hearing me ramble on about nonsense. Oi. Oh. Wow, some of these names. I would say some of the. I would try to say some of that. I know I would butcher it, and something that's important to me is names. I don't like butchering names if I can avoid it. So I'm not going to attempt. I'm just going to say, good job. There you go. Good job. Who was the voice actor for Miles in this game? I want to go look that up. I know it was at the very beginning of the credits, uh, like who played who, but I wasn't paying attention because I was kind of doing my own thing. Let's see here. Um, Alex the Voice Boy. I'm going to apologize. Naji Jeter, not. I've never heard the name be pronounced, so I don't know how I said. 
Naji Jeter is how I'm assuming it's pronounced. I don't, I don't honestly know. Uh, he played Miles in this game. Oh, that's right, Darren DePaul is Jonah. Man, I forgot about that. Oh, Troy Baker was second figure. Okay, all right. Oh, Ashley Birch was Danica. We like Dan. We like Ashley Birch. She's fun. Wait, if there's any other names I recognize, I know we know Yuri Lowenthal was uh, Peter because you know he was in the first game. Not recognizing anybody. Travis Willingham is the kingpin. Huh. Okay. All right. Sure. That's definitely in his wheelhouse, I suppose. Let's see here. Uh, got to the miles. Do I know you from anything else, perhaps? No, I don't. Everything you've done has been Miles Morales in, whether it's this game, Ultimate Alliance 3, uh, the Spider-Man TV show, where you played a few other characters, like Window Washer. And then somebody called Sam in The Last of Us. That's all you got. I don't I don't know. I had not played The Last of Us. Even though Jono bought it for me several years ago, I just have not yet had a chance. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Are we almost at the end of the credits? Now the music is gone, and now we're getting all the legal shit. So we've got copyright GitHub? What? What the fuck did they get up GitHub? Curious now. Okay, but actually, where is the music? Did they not expect you to go to, to launch all the credits? Is that the problem game? You didn't make your credits music last long enough? Holy shit. These are the credits that never end. Okay, I was down for seeing, you know, like, showing off who did what worked on the game, but all the legal shit, like, why? What, why do we gotta sit through this? Because it's legal. Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. I wonder if we'll get like a, a green goblin, a venom goblin. Like, I, we know venom is currently attached to uh, Harry Osborn, but like, is he gonna be in, is he gonna be in the goblin suit and be venom? Are they gonna go for some kind of a hybrid like that? I don't know. We'll get something. We're, we're absolutely getting venom. That's the only thing for sure in the next Spider Man game. Uh, goblin, lizard, kingpin, they're all pretty likely. Beyond that, I mean, we'll know we'll have more. We just don't know who. Because they're going to give us some side content characters. Like how Taskmaster was. Uh, game. Oh. There was a scene. Congratulations! You have finished the main story, but the adventure continues. You can now revisit previously completed missions with Mission Replay in the pause menu or previously completed Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man activities in the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app. You can now change the time of day in the options menu as well. You can start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty for added challenges or start new game plus to restart with all your gear and skills and unlock new ones. Now that's something I don't like. Like, yes, give me a new game plus if I want to restart with all my shit I can. But I don't like that there are skills that are locked to me and I can't see them until new game plus. That honestly annoyed me when it's all skill tree when I first played. That was dumb. Very, very dumb. And we are now, I think, level 20. Hey, Ma. Hi, Ma. Busy. Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Ben. And... Tell me about it. She saved my life. And yours. Everybody's. 
But she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. After seeing what happened to Rick, I get why she did it. People are messy. Hmm. Take your uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him, I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was, and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? Si. Te quiero. And on that note, we'll see you all next time. The post game. Bye, everyone.